Hey everyone, a couple days ago Riot dropped an article for the rank changes coming in 2023, uh, the impending season 13, so let's talk about it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the whole article since it's relatively short and then we're just going to go back through it bit by bit. We've got some changes coming up for the rank uh, for ranked in 2023, you might start seeing pieces uh, of that on the PBE soon, we wanted to give you the scoop ahead of time. League of Legends will have two rank splits in season 2023, split one. We'll start at the beginning of the year in January, and Split 2 will start in the middle of the year. So they're going from 3 to 2 splits. In addition to these changes, we're also changing promotion series between tiers from best of 5 to best of 3. Awesome. And we're removing visible rank influence from your matches. There are a number of reasons why we're doing this. One of our designers, Seawall, uh, will cover that below. But at a high level, most players reach their goals for ranked by the middle of the year, leaving them with little to do. Some folks continue their grind, but others drop out of ranked entirely or turn to smurfing. And that goes against some of the core goals for playing ranked league. At the end of the day, we want you to always have a goal to be able to chase and to reward you for your accomplishments along the way. We're also upgrading the rewards you get from rank to include things like Hextech keys, chests, and some other goodies you can unlock along the progression on track each split. So, I guess more of a battle pass style. The way you earn these rewards has been simplified from previous ranked rewards. You'll earn split points for each game of ranked you play, a certain amount per win, a little less for a loss, but that's not all we have in store for rewards. Two rank splits also means two ranked skins. Let's go. You'll earn these similar similarly to how you did before with a small change. Starting next season, rank skins will be a, available to players of all ranks. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, not just gold and above. You'll still earn chromas based on your final rank at the end of the split. So keep climbing for more colorful chromas. Wow. Uh, that's something to definitely talk about. Ranked Rewards. With the upcoming changes to Ranked, we thought it would be a great time to <clears throat> take another look at our approach to Rewards. Some of these systems haven't been updated in years and could definitely be improved. We started with Split Rewards. The previous track had only four and they were spread pretty far apart. As a, as a result, the Rewards track wasn't doing its job making players feel rewarded for their time spent in Ranked, not to mention it also wasn't motivating players who don't play a lot of Ranked and therefore missed out on rewards completely. So we're increasing the number of rewards and placing a uh, more earlier uh, placing them more earlier on the track. At the same time, we reduced the number of games required uh, to reach each of the existing rewards. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're also simplifying how split points are reward. Previously, we attempted to reward players for queuing as fill or compensate uh, them for being auto-filled, but considering the reward track wasn't very motivating, we didn't see this affecting role selection at all, obviously. Additionally, because certain roles are less likely to be auto-filled, players who main those roles wouldn't be able to earn as many split points. With our new update, you'll simply get points for a win and slightly few for a loss. Thematically, we feel this aligns with ranked more well. Yes, <laughs> yes it does. Now for the big one. While looking at all of our ranked rewards, we are also we also took another look at the Victorious skin. The model for the Victorious skin hasn't changed since 2011 when Victorious Jarvan was given out. Since then, we're, we've always rewarded players at the end of season gold or above. However, this has led to a few problems. First, players on the skill threshold between gold and silver will often stop playing once they hit gold we definitely don't want that to happen especially if it's early in the season second high skill players can earn the skin by playing a relatively small number of games just enough to maintain their rank what about all the silver and below players who who are playing hundreds of games a year actively trying to learn and improve fundamentally we asked ourselves what balance we wanted to strike between rewarding skill and rewarding your time playing ranked of course we want to reward players for climbing higher and higher so gold players and above will still earn the skins and chromas that will be distributed at the end of the split right after completing placements but for now players Below them will have a chance to earn skins as well if they put in the time. For these players to earn it, they'll have to play a much larger number of games. On top of that, as soon as silver player hits gold, they'll unlock the skin, even if they drop back, even if they drop back down to silver. So your best shot 
to earn it is to still improve and keep climbing. These are pretty big changes, so we'll be closely monitoring how things go through the split. Until then, keep an eye out for an upcoming video for the league team covering all of the Sea on the Rift. Okay. Okay, couple couple things to go over here. So, uh, starting with this. Uh, because of the fact that they're adding a lot more rewards to, uh, to the splits and to... Um, uh, to your reward ranked progression. Um, <clears throat> cutting it down from three splits to two, I think, is a great idea. And I think it's also a great idea um, to have two major rewards at the end of each split rather than it just being, okay, I've earned my rewards, um, but the ranked season still keeps going. Also, when it comes to Victoria skins, I think there's a little bit of a mystique around Victoria skins and like, okay, who's this season's going to be and what is it going to look like? Well, while the Victorious theme does kind of have its own sort of royal, you know, identity to it, um, getting more than just one uh, Victorious skin a year is a great idea. Something I've, I've always thought about too, um, well, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that, but in terms of going from one split to two splits and these actually being um, defined parts of a season rather than just, um, oh, here's a third of a season, but the season kind of just keeps going, um, this, this really puts a, a defining factor on each ranked season. Um, because they got rid of promos between not just tiers, but also ranks, um, technically speaking, when you get to something like, say, Silver 4, you have to earn 400 LP to go from Silver 4 to your promos in Silver 1, and then win your promos to get to uh, Gold 4. So I think this is a really good idea. Um, one thing that wasn't mentioned here is uh, the free win system. Um, which, if you aren't familiar with that, or if maybe you haven't paid attention to how that works, um, I believe it's only up to gold promos. Maybe gold into platinum is is where is the last tier that this can happen. But essentially, what happens is is when you get into your promos, if you lose the next time you get into your promos, you get a free win. This is, as Riot has mentioned years ago when they implemented it, uh, a way to take the pressure off, so to speak, because they've acknowledged that, you know, for some reason, it just seems like when you get into your promos that, uh, you know, it's more likely that players will disconnect. Also, one thing a lot of us players have noticed is that the games do get harder for whatever, whatever reason. Now, I'm not necessarily saying I disagree with uh, um, um, harder ranked placements, but at the same time, like, you still should be matched with people around that MMR, like Silver 1, Gold 4. So it shouldn't technically be getting too much harder. Anyway, uh, the thing with the, three, the free win system, uh, I can do a separate video on this if anybody wants me to, but for me personally, I don't believe in rewarding people for uh, nothing. So, and I've said this for years, and I've, I've fought with people about this in, in, in my own personal life that, you know, we're friends that we play ranked together, is, is that um, there shouldn't be a free win system. However, comma, you shouldn't lose more than one game's worth of LP for losing your promos. And again, that's a whole it's a whole different video. That's something I feel very strongly about. But uh, you know, if you're in a best of five, you shouldn't lose 60 LP for losing your promo. That's that's just me. So, uh, so number of reasons we're doing this, and they're great reasons. Uh, I'm glad that we're getting hextech keys and other goodies. You know, uh, again, more of a battle pass thing, rewarding you for playing ranked. Since there isn't much going on in terms of uh, variety of play when it comes to what you can do in, in in specifically League of Legends. Obviously, they have TFT implemented in the League client, um, but if we're talking specifically about League, you have Summoner's Rift, you have ARAM, and you have Custom Games. Bring back threes, for God's sakes. <sighs> uh, the way you earn these rewards has simply been... Okay, yeah, that's 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 all good. Um, and then this is cool. Starting at the season, ranked skins will be available for players for our ranks. Uh, not just gold and above. All right, so um, this is something that I've I've thought a lot about, but 
the reason the reasoning they give i think is completely justifiable um on the one hand you have gold as sort of the uh, goal to work for to get the Victoria skin. And obviously, if you didn't get gold, you didn't get the Victoria skin. So on, on the one hand, motivate motivating players to get to that rank through the uh, reward, I think, is definitely a very good idea. However, comma, they do highlight the problem of for these players to earn it, they'll have to play much. on top of that, as soon as silver player hits gold, they'll unlock the skin uh, where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Uh, oh, here it is. Of course, we still want players to reward players for climbing higher. So gold players and above will still earn chromas distributed. Uh, so anyway, um, oh, here it is. First players on the skill threshold because once they hit gold, we definitely don't want that to... Uh, we'll stop playing often once they hit gold. And that's, that's the particular reason this is cool, is because it's like, on the one hand, even though gold was the, the goal threshold, um, you don't want players stagnating um, in the same um, the same rank. Like you want the rank system between iron and challenger to look like a bell curve. You don't want one particular rank to have too many players. Um, and they also address that with the whole smurfing thing. So just playing ranked will get you uh, the victorious skin, and then you being able to earn more and more chromas um, as you get higher up in the ladder. Uh, now gives an unlimited reward selection for players. Now, hopefully... Well, not hopefully. Uh, I think it's... Uh, where did they say it? Uh, splits removed. Um, definitely don't want that to happen. So the chromas... So I think the chromas start at gold, which I think is cool. Um... Yeah, w once a silver player hits gold, I think gold is when the chromas start. I don't think there should be a silver chroma. I, I do think gold should be some kind of threshold for skill. Skill and reward, basically. Now, the last thing the last thing on here, and this, this has to do with uh, uh, how the ranked rewards worked in the past as well. Um, I'm not sure yet how I feel about this for the players to earn it they'll have to play a much on top of that as soon as a silver player hits gold they'll unlock the skin even if they drop back down to silver see i i don't know how i feel about this and the reason being is is that on the one hand um it does take the pressure off of uh grinding for the end of the season because just like finals week in high school or college um that last couple of weeks before the rank season ends can be like such a toxic environment both for the player base but also for yourself as the individual but on the other hand it's like if you earn like if you earn your if you earn your new rank then like maybe you should be fighting to both keep it and improve as a player like that's just me, um, but, like, if you hit diamond, then, like, there should be some, some in incentivization for, or, you know, there's something should be incentivized for you to stay diamond or continue to grind to get better as, as a player, because diamond is a, is a different, like, uh, skill threshold than, say, gold, for example. So, I feel like while you should be reward for being diamond, I don't know if you should be reward for hitting diamond, if that if that makes sense. So, I'm kind of on the fence about that one. I don't err towards one side. I'm very on the fence, but... But, there's your uh, uh, rundown of the rank changes for 2023. Obviously, they said they're going to be uh, uh, releasing a full rundown on their YouTube channel, so keep an eye out for that. And as always, guys, I'm Remote Night Owl. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, we will see each other again real soon. Have a wonderful day.